Your pie looks good. It does look good. Yeah. Let's talk about pie. <laughs> Another weird things going on in my head. <laughs> okay. Are we rolling? Yes, you got all that. Of course you did. <laughs> I have a pie dough recipe that is my very favorite that does not require any prior knowledge or intuition or special equipment. And I have a buddy here. I heard you need a genius. <laughs> <laughs> to make it with me. Oh, yes. This is my friend Danielle from That's Rustic me. Joyful Food. That's me, hi guys. And she's never made this recipe before. Never. She's made pie. How do you know? We don't know. But we don't know, you just don't know this about me. I mean, I make pie. I make, <laughs> I make pretty incredible pie. This is Stella Park's recipe okay. of Brave Tart. An, she's a genius. An instant, we can get into the book more later, but an instant baking classic. Oh, I love it. Really quick, I just wanna make sure we have all of our equipment because it's about to get very floury. Medium bowl. Medium bowl, check. Whisk. Whisk. Rubber spatula. Rubber spatula. Ooh, yes, he was hiding. <laughs> Rolling pin. Rolling pin, Boom. got it. Right here. Okay, nine inch pie pin. Boom. Bench scraper or offset spatula or other thin spatula-like thing. Okay. Um, ruler. Ruler. Kitchen shears. Kitchen shears. Boom. Okay, now we're, we're, hit. Can, we're ready we to hit it. We can make our whole pie dough. Okay. So use bleached, all-purpose flour. Bleached. That's what we got. Mm -hmm. Then we need a tablespoon of sugar. Then we have some salt. Yeah, which is my favorite part. You yeah. have to have salt. Yes. Lots of it. So first we just whisk this together. Okay. Whiskey, whiskey. Mm-hmm. This is where other recipes are gonna ask you to like mix the butter in until it's it looks like coarse crumbs. Mm -hmm. And you're thinking, whose definition of coarse crumb? Right, but for mm -hmm. anyone who's scared of that, yes, this is so exact. Take your cubes of butter, dump them in. Thing of beauty. Okay. And then, now we're gonna get our hands dirty. Okay. okay. We're gonna toss them around. So I'm watching this, you're just sort of, sort of yeah. folding. So first we're just coating everything in flour, correct? Just coating and okay. like break break them all up. That's okay. the first thing. Okay, like You'll... look at this little sneaker in here. A whole, <laughs> it's a whole one. <laughs> all you do is just smash each of these cubes flat like that. And that's it. Knock it off. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Oh. Isn't that fun? Yes. It's like cathartic. Does anybody use that word anymore? Yes. Cathartic? Yeah. And it's exactly what you need, you know, the day before Thanksgiving or some big <gasps> yes. thing where you're making a bunch of pie. Just a half cup of very cold water, no okay. ice. Okay. Dump it all in. Don't even think about it. <gasps> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so now yes. we just mix it in. That's it. Just, yeah, just like until it's, it doesn't even have to be fully, fully incorporated. Just make sure there's not like crazy amounts of flour flying okay. around. Okay, okay. I'm watching your method over here. Yeah. You have a couple little pat pats. <laughs> we have some <laughs> scrape scrapes down the side. Yeah. We're paying attention to. Yeah. Smooshing. Smooshing. Smooshing properly. Little smooshing. Okay. Okay. So now we're ready to move to the counter. Oh, right. So I'm going to get our flour. Okay. I just make a little pile. Okay. That we can keep grabbing from. Yes. I love a flour pile. Yeah, a little flour pile. Okay. So flour generously. Generously. Do not fear. Okay. Well, all we have to do right now is roll it out into a big rectangle. Or just like make sure, you know, if it ever gets sticky, put more flour put down. A little bit more flour no on. No big deal. Okay. And like, you know, it, it helps to move it around a little as you're going to make sure you're not. Okay, okay. I love that we're cheersing with our rolling pins yes, too. Yes, yes, I know. We're like, weird. <laughs> we're together. Here's what we're gonna do. Basically, you just fold it in like this. Okay. Fold it down. All right. And then you cut. No way. Yeah, cut it in half. This is the part where Stella will usually, if your kitchen is cold, she likes to roll it all out right away. All right. And then chill it to rest and, and relax and, and become a good pie shape. Okay. A lot of pie recipes will have you chill it for an hour at this point, and then you have to... You're trying to thaw it out and you want to get the right timing. However, if your kitchen is warm, mm -hmm. it can help to just like pop it in the fridge for like 15 minutes. Or soak your hands in ice water. Or soak your hands in ice water. No, or. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. Da, da, da. I do have a little unusual, unorthodox pie tip. Um, so I take a damp rag, and before I throw my flour out to, ro to lay my pie crust, I always just wipe the counter down. So we're getting some moisture on there. Oh, this is the most absorbent, beautiful towel, so it's, <laughs> it's not, yeah. Oh, it's, it's kind of working. It's creating that surface, wow. yeah. So what the flour and the little bit of water does is it creates this sort of surface to where I never have my pie crust stick. I love this. I love this. Just picking up genius tips yeah, left or yeah, right. It's great. <laughs> this dough is colder. We are safer to start. Awesome. 
This is where we get to choose our own adventure. Okay. We can, if we're making um, a blind baked pie, wh mm -hmm. which is like, you know, if you're doing a custard pie, something that doesn't have a top crust, mm -hmm. there's one path you can take. If you're doing a double crust pie, there's another path you can take. This dough will work for all of those things. Okay. Yeah. And you are kind of mm. going from a rectangle-ish to a round-ish. To a round. Okay, this is my bag. This is my in. game, okay? Yeah. I've been training for this my whole life. Do you have any rounds. tricks for that? No, I just am always rotating, and I feel like, I don't know why, but I'm, I do these two little motions and then rotate, and we start to build a circle. I love these rolling pins, too. These are great. Yeah. Well, you just have such a better control. Like, you really can feel the dough through it. Yeah. It's completely different from the kind that roll. And this one, once you get to a certain level, mm -hmm. that is your eighth inch. Yeah. And I'm good. I think I'm, I'm going to cover it pretty good. And show me, is there a different method for getting transfer? it in? Yeah. So I used to always try to do the like furl it over the mm -hmm. pin thing. And yes. then once I realized I could just fold it, yeah, see I felt that, so much better. I've torn so many pie doughs like that. We can show the differences between those two methods. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be dangerous and show the furling thing. This is some people like to do this. Thank okay, you. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting nervous as it's happening. Look at you do it like a genius. <laughs> and then this is where you sort of tuck in. I always tuck under because you want everything to be nice and even. And I tuck first and quickly because you don't want it to warm up. If you want to take it one step further, I always finish it off with like just a little crimp. So I'm just making this cute little triangle on the pie. And then I set my finger Ooh. in the other little triangle. I love that. And we just tuck in, so we're always, so it's cute. Whatever you've done to your dough, you gotta chill it for like two hours. Yes. In whatever shape is closest to what you're gonna bake. Okay. So that one you would chill for two hours. Okay. So she fills it with sugar, and then you can use the sugar in other recipes, and it's got a roastier flavor. Because otherwise, if you just stuck this in the oven, mm -hmm. the bottom might start go, to puff mm, up. Yes. And yeah, and your sides might fall yes, in. Yes, because it's a butter dough. Yeah. So basically, because this is going to be a double crust pie, and mm -hmm. we're going to fill it and put a topping on it, for the chilling part, all you want to do is just kind of like even up these sides okay. to however you are going to want to deal with them later. So this guy's, this is done. Yeah. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da. We need the sound effects. Yeah. <laughs> ba -da -da -da. Stella Parks being the genius behind Brave Tart. Mm -hmm. This is all completely American desserts. <gasps> and then she just researched the heck out of these things. Oh my God. This is the crust we made. Um, we just, we didn't do all that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're going to. <laughs> Later, off camera. Duh. So that pie dough that was in here, I then loved so much that I made all of the pies in Genius Desserts that have a flaky crust mm, use her pie use dough. Her, oh! Because I just didn't want to give like five different pie no, doughs. No, that makes so much sense. Okay. So that's, that's, that's the tour. Now we can finish our lattice. I love it. If you're going to choose your adventure and your adventure is a double crust pie. Okay. We've chilled these two separately for two hours. Beautiful. I'm gonna do a, kind of cool lazy lattice oh, that I'm I so learned yes. from 4 and 20 Blackbirds. I love lazy. So I think I'm gonna go for long strips. Okay. I'm gonna actually brush this with a little bit of water. Then, the thing I love about what they do is they just, instead of trying to weave and fold, they just do these kind of like um, artsy, oh, they're so pretty. zigzaggy things. Yeah. Yeah. It's beautiful. So now folding edges. Okay. So mod. <gasps> I love it. It looks beautiful. So yeah, you could crimp that if you want, but uh -huh. we're just going to but why? Yeah. egg wash it. This okay. is just a beaten egg with some water and some salt. Okay. And painting that on to make it nice and like brown and mm -hmm. glossy. Can I get in? Can I sprinkle? Yes, please. I mean, I feel like I'm taking all of the fun stuff. No, I'm, I'm like, I feel very selfish taking this. Oh, fun this is part great. Right here. I love this. <laughs> we have done pies. Ooh, these are our two specimens. Our They're beautiful. Single crust and our double crust. I feel proud. It's a moment of truth. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Look at it. <laughs> it's like phyllo esque. Yeah. This is wonderful. So this is this is the true like taste test. This is plain, no no pie to interfere. Oh wow! Like look at how much it's flaking. You guys, 
So number one choice for pie pan is a glass pie pan, um, tempered glass, like Pyrex or something. Okay. Because you can peek as you're baking oh. it and see how dark the bottom is. Do you know that in all my 36 years, I never once thought of that. Second choice would be a, like a thin metal aluminum pie pan like this. Like this. You can't see the bottom, but it does heat it really nicely. But if you could see the bottom, it's incredible. Yeah. I mean, you could kind of like peel up some of the bottom. Yeah, here. But I mean, let me take care of that for you. <laughs> okay. Now okay. Get okay. To eat this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Shall we? I went in. Oh, I didn't even. <laughs> you guys. Still just as flaky. This crust. <laughs> Thanksgiving is saved. <laughs> All the holidays are saved. Thanks, Stella. Thank you, Stella. <laughs> so here's a lot of stuff you can do to yes. get more of all of this. Yeah. You can like and subscribe do it over here mm -hmm. to get more genius recipes every single week. Yes. You can follow Danielle oh. at Rustic Joyful Food. Yes. And you can definitely get a copy of Brave's Heart, oh. Stella's book. And <laughs> Le Pistole <de> Sauce. <laughs>